Pam Demore, the Decorating Diva, and I'm here to show you how to use one of the templates from my new window treatment template collection. I'm going to show you how to use template number eight, which I call the large scallop. It's a um, cut on the fold um, template. And so what I'm going to do is I've got my fabric folded in half. I'm going to show you how I did my, my bedroom window treatment, which everyone loves to see because it's a big trapezoid window. So what I did was I put this on the fold here. Then I took template number seven and I kind of lined it up like this. Then, kind of figured out where it was going to go. I'm going to trace this line. Line up number seven. So it's even with the edge of here and the edge of the fabric. And then just wrap that like that. Then I'm going to use, put my glasses on for this one. I'm going to use the dots here to do the curved top. And I'm going to draw that line. And I'm just going to take it out to here like this. Okay? Just like that. Then I'm going to cut it. Now, I did these, I did four of these. And what I did was I added on the bottom edge a little twisted rope trim and a pleated trim similar to that that's on here. I added a nice little pleated trim using the pleat tape. And what I did was after I added the trim to the bottom, I sewed the top and the bottom and pulled it through one of the holes of the end right here. Then I just simply pleated it with three, three little pleats, just like this. And then I stapled it onto a two inch wood pole. And if you look at my window treatment, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. And then I put my double sided jabots, which I used template four for, um, over the top to cover where those join the poles. And then um, after I um, put the, the, uh, the tails on, then it was mounted up into my window. In addition, there's lots of other stuff you can do with template number eight, so I'm going to show you a few more things. This window treatment was done with template number eight. And what I did with this one, you'll see I also did the curved top here. But instead of um, the curved top, instead of doing the curved bottom, I sort of followed the bottom edge with this little scallop template. And then just um, using the five inch scallop, I just traced and did a scallop line along the bottom to give it just a nice little detail. Again, this little bell here is done with template number four. Okay. This is a fun treatment. This is template number eight, okay? And this is using the, the flexible polyester board. And so template number eight, we did it as a scallop here. We also did it as a scallop here. So we used this edge on both sides. Then we inserted it with template number nine, okay? There we are, using the uh, double stick uh, permanent tape for the trim so that the stitching line doesn't show through to the back. Okay, and that's on a curved board. This is made by Leanne. She's one of my students in Arkansas, and we love Leanne. She's a fun lady, and good lady. This is using template number eight right here, and there's a ribbon here, the same kind of ribs that I use in my Roman shades. I did that so that it would have a nice, firm look. You don't really notice it when it's up like this, but when it's lying down, you can see there's a rib there that keeps it nice and flat. So this is template number one, template number eight, and inside here is template number um, two, and I've used the, the basting gun to tack this so that those pleats stay nice and pretty. And this is, um, this little part right here is just the end part from template number one. Okay, fully lined in the silk. And the little button detail, which I think is a really nice touch.
One of my favorite designs though with template number eight is this one. And I did, I made the scalp a little smaller and then I used template number eight to cut my board here, to cascade my board. So actually this is template number one, template number eight's right here. And this is template number two. And again, a lovely design. And I love the uh, polyester board, it's so easy to cut and to create these wonderful shapes.